like now we're in the jungle. These pictures turned out really cool. For some reason, the lighting in jungles are really good. Like the lighting is always like soft and diffused and sometimes I don't even need lights. But I did use some lights in these. I used my typical AD360 as a hair light and two AD600s as my main light. One of them had a Godox 80 centimeter umbrella softbox. The other one was a bare AD600 and an AD200 above the camera for a little extra fill. My camera was a Sony A7 III and we started off with a Zeiss 55 1.8 ISO 100 1 250th of a second and the magic started happening. Here's a picture without a flash. I like it even just without a flash. It looks really cool. And here it is with a flash. Obviously that looks pretty good too. So then we switched to just standing. I went through three different lenses. Here we have a 35, Zeiss 35 1.4. Here we have a Zeiss 55 1.8. And of course I had to use the Sigma 105 1.4. Then there was this patch of foliage that was backlit by the sun. And I said, let's just go stand right in the middle of that. And I used the 105, 1.4, ISO 100, a 640th of a second. I was quite a ways back, but I wanted to highlight her because the sun was behind her and I needed to have a little spot of light where she was. So I put some tin foil on an 8600 and made a funnel out of it. So the light was just hitting her. It just turned out magical. It looks like a scene from a Bo Derek movie or something. I try to, whenever possible, have the sun behind the model so the hair is just glowing from all sides. And of course, I just have to have some kind of light to fill in the shadow side. The 8600 is great. It's a great all-purpose, powerful light that you can use in so many ways. Then we did a costume change and looking up is just as cool. So I did the rest of these shots looking up at the canopy and used again the AD300 as the hair light and an AD600 with the 80 centimeter Godox umbrella softbox. And I had another one, just a bare AD600 off to the side and an AD200 above the camera for a little extra fill. These ones are all taken with a wider angle Zeiss 35 1.4, set at f2.5, ISO 100, 1 400th of a second, and I really like how these turned out. So that's our jungle series. Each photo session we took in St. Lucia is so different from the other ones. Each one is unique. Stay tuned to see more great, totally different photo sessions coming up in a few days. So subscribe to Marcus Picks and tell your friends about this channel. I'll see you in the next video.